Now, I want to show us how to make the trending braided turban, which I'm going to include to this um, uh, turban with loop. So the first thing I will do is to loosen this back half. If you are adding the turban, braided turban, and you want to attach it directly here, you won't close this up in the first place. I only close it up because I illustrated how to use this earlier. So I will first of all use my blade to just open the seam right here, does the band area, and I'll keep that aside. So these are the measurements we would need to make her braided turban. These are the pieces. I have my metallic fabric, same fabric, and I have wadding. This is wadding, soft wadding, or also called felt in other countries. I also have UHU glue to work with, then needle and thread and scissors. I have three strips of fabric cut out, which I'm going to be using to make the braided part of this art turban. And the measurement is 34 inches by seven and a half inches from here th this way is 34 inches and from here this way is seven and a half inches it could be up to eight inches it could be six inches all right so i have it in three places as you can see i have also cut out my soft wording it is also called felt like i mentioned earlier for each of these pieces i have here And the measurement is lesser by four inches. So what I have here is 30 inches by the same seven and a half inches in three places. Okay, so what we are going to be doing is this. I make sure I set it so I have two inches left on this my metallic fabric this way and two inches left this side. The wording is actually smaller than the length of the fabric itself. So I'm going to fold it this way like this more weight okay and i'm going to sew from this end this way i'll sew like that to the other end by half an inch i'm going to repeat this procedure on the other two all right then i also have this loop that i've created okay the measurement is six inches by Two inches in fold so if you have already sewn it but so if before sewing it that's six inches by four inches so i folded it into two and i've sewn it already i've sewn the three and we are going to turn each of them inside out okay we'll turn each of them inside out all right as you can see i've turned them inside out remember i said the length of each of the strips is 34 inches this it depends on your head circumference this 34 inches will work well for an air circumference of 22 inches. If your air circumference is more than that, you'll need to increase this as well. For an air circumference of 23 inches, you may need to increase it by 1 inch as well, so that it will go around the head. You understand? You make yours 35 inches. If it is 24 inches, if your air circumference is 24 inches, make it up to 36 inches. Just make sure you, once you are done with the braided part, you measure it round your turban cap to be, to be sure it's exactly your size but please increase it from the beginning you can easily trim off the excess in case it becomes bigger so we are going to bring the seam i brought the seam to the side i bring the seam to the side like this i brought the seam to the side like this for each of the pieces so i'm going to arrange them on top of each other and we're going to sew them together like this can you see? So three of them together like this. I place them on top of each other like this and we're going to sew it. As you can see, I've sewn it. I actually used my needle and thread to secure the three stripes together at this end and I pulled more or less like to form gathers. All right. So I've secured it like that and I'm going to cut off the excess thread so i will need to get someone to hold this down for me to braid to braid these stripes it's just the same way you braid your hair okay just the same way you do braided hair just leave a space from here then you start braiding just like this when you're braiding 
make sure it is tight and we press like this as we are braiding so that it will be tight okay just press braid normally just like you braid your hair as you can see i have braided it up to this point i'm just going to gather these ends together make sure it is tight please make sure it is tight okay gather these ends together like this okay and uh, we'll secure with our needle and thread can you see just like we did here can you see so i'll be using my needle and thread to secure them together it takes um, time for the needle and thread the needle to pass through this kind of fabric so you need to take your time so i'm going to go ahead and do that okay like i'm making loose stitches so i can pull to form gathers i'll go ahead and do that and i'll be back to show you the final step i sold this the way i saw this part i saw it in the form of loose stitches so that i can pull it together to form gathers i just secure like that i secure it like that and it's time for us to fix it at the back of our cap so this is my cap this is the opening right here at the back this is the front and this is the back so you just push this in before then you can place it on your manicure edge your manicure edge to be sure that it goes round all right and just with your manicure edge to be sure that it goes round okay like i mentioned when i was doing this car this loop must be wide enough must be wide enough to accommodate this your braids you understand so can you see it has to go around it has to go around at least from here to here and this from here to here so after you must have confirmed that we are going to be sealing this end with glue because it's difficult for my needle and thread to go through if you can sew with needle and thread please go ahead and sew i'm going to apply my glue like this to seal to secure the opening of the band and i apply my glue right here Okay, and I'm going to glue this to this. You need to take your time so that it dries very well. You apply enough pressure so that it dries well before you continue. I apply glue on this other side and I glue it. If you want to sew, if you are able to sew, please go ahead and sew. It's not compulsory you go by my method i'm just trying to make sure that you achieve a neat job neat finish is very very important so after we have can you see we have secured the two we have glued the two ends of the braided part to the turban cap we're still going to glue them together this way just this end like this like this and like this just that part we are going to glue them together like this okay like this enough pressure this is the loop we created earlier i'm going to just uh, glue the edge fold it in and glue them in like that so this is what i have this is what i have after that i'm going to use that to cover this part okay i'm going to use that to cover this part with the same glue okay can you see that way it will be neat this now glue them together and i will show you what i'll be doing next almost at the final step like this
Thank you.